Plutonium? You mean this sucker's nuclear? Yes. Essentially, I've created a time-traveling nuclear bomb. But let's focus on the time-traveling part, because really, I think that's more important. Oh, man. What was that? Those are terrorists from whom I stole the plutonium. They're coming to kill us. As a fringe scientist, I have very loose morals. Doc! We've got to get out of here! More like out of when! Into the time machine! We're going back to the future! Let's go! Before we go, Marty, I, I must warn you. Whatever you do in the past, don't have sex with your mother. Uh, okay, Doc. No, it's not okay. It, it always seems to happen with time travel. Probably because we all love our mothers, and then to be confronted with a younger, more attractive, virginal form of her, it's just too much for us to handle. All very Oedipal, you know. All right, well, I'll try. Well, no, don't try, just don't do it! Promise me you won't have sex with your mom. I promise not to have sex with my mom. Oh, you're thinking about it, aren't you? No, I'm not. Marty, you're disappearing. You're clearly thinking about boning your mom. Doc, you're disappearing too. Great, stop. Now you've got me doing it. All right, Marty, we both have to stop thinking about sex with our moms. But how, Doc? We both need to think about having sex with someone else. Who is the person you least want to have sex with? Biff Tannen. And for me, it's Mayor Goldie Wilson. I'm back, Doc! We did it! Excellent work. Now, let's talk about what we are going to do when we travel back in time. Alright, Marty. Now, when you travel back into the future, don't have sex with your kids. Will it mess up the time stream? What? No, it's just wrong. Jesus, man, they're your kids! So what if I take my kids back in time with me? Honestly, I, I can't believe we're spending time talking about this. Doc, if you ask me... Time is the one thing we've got plenty of. <laughs> <laughs> Don't end your sentences with prepositions, Marty.